tonight on News Channel 11 at 5. As the school year approaches, area emergency workers are trained to keep kids safe on campus. More than 30 schools in our region missing something many consider a vital part of fire safety. Also, Tennessee Governor Bill Haslam is asking for flood relief help from the Small Business Association. And a project in Jonesboro to restore a historic theater. Those stories in the check of the weather right now. You're watching News Channel 11 in your corner at 5. Well, it's a scenario no one, especially parents of school children, ever wants to see happen. A gunman on campus. Thanks for choosing News Channel 11 at 5. I'm Josh Smith. And I'm Sarah Diamond. After last year's deadly shootings at a New Jersey school, school systems all across the country began taking steps to be as prepared as possible. In Unicoi County, that means the Sheriff's Office, local emergency management officials, and Tennessee Highway Patrol have been undergoing intensive active shooter training over the last three days with experts from Shooter's Edge Training Center. New at 5, News Channel 11's Chris McIntosh attended today's simulated shooting situation where that training was put under the gun. The gray morning stillness in Unicoi County High School was shattered first by the sound of gunfire. Then students in the parking lot reacted as classmates fell wounded. Within seconds, the shooters attempted to enter the school, only to be met by the school resource officer. In this first scenario, both shooters were taken down by the SRO, but the officer fell with a wound while protecting the students and teachers inside. It's just as real as real can be, and uh, that's what it's about, good training. The Unicoi County School System is one of the first in the state to have an SRO in every school. Now, having that officer here today during this training exercise just drove home the point that those SROs can save lives. If the SRO was not here today, um, the SRO actually fooled both plots today. They, they shot both aggressors in the parking lot before they even entered. During the second scenario, one of the shooters gains access to the inside of the school, causing students to flee. But a quick response by Unicoi County deputies and Irwin police gets the situation under control. It was an excellent drill. Uh, we hope that uh, this never happens here in the county, but if it does, we're prepared to handle it. For students taking part in the drill, it was reassuring to know the links local law enforcement will go to protect them. To see how quickly our officers are able to respond makes me feel safer that I'm not, I don't got to depend on them getting there or not. I got to depend on just me hiding for a few seconds. Bottom line, this training saves lives, uh, especially for the kids and the staff. In Irwin, Chris McIntosh, News Channel 11, in your corner. Well, Mike Lewis from the Shooter's Edge says that in a perfect world, the reaction time needed for officers to respond to an active shooter situation at a school is just 25 seconds.